And then you go to the SEC's website to look at uh, the prospectus for this investment fund for BlackRock, and you get this website from like 2003, um, and it's 2023, right? And uh, like, seriously, what in the hell is wrong with the SEC? I, I swear to God, this website probably sucks just because Gary Gensler has been the head of the SEC for so long, probably too long. Um, but yeah, I mean, technically the information is there, um, but it's easier <laughs> if you just go to Google Finance. Um, basically, this is the BlackRock uh, Strategic Income Opportunities Portfolio Institutional Shares. Um, so it's a really long phrase. Um, but basically, this is uh, the, um, yeah, I guess you could call it index or fund um, that they're going to be trying to add Bitcoin to, right? So uh, again, strategic, strategic opportunities uh, portfolio, right? So for uh you know, they think Bitcoin having Bitcoin in that portfolio is uh, key, right? So they view Bitcoin uh, and their Bitcoin ETF as a really uh, important uh, strategic play. Now, if I were to look at this chart, I, I did say we'd look at the S&P chart before we finish today. If we were to take a look at this chart here, kind of as a crypto chart, because crypto is getting injected into it through Bitcoin, right? And maybe the Ethereum ETF gets added to this at some point later in the year as well. Um, and that's just another way for BlackRock customers basically to get access to Bitcoin. They can buy the ETF and have that exposure to Bitcoin itself, right? Or um, they can buy this, have exposure to Bitcoin and the other stuff that they have in this um, uh, investment opportunity um, fund, whatever you want to call it, right? Uh, so in from $10 here down to $9, <laughs> like the volatility is so ridiculous in the traditional markets. Like it crashed all the way from $10 all the way down to nine dollars right it's just like what like is that a crash really okay um but it did now it's come up here if you look at its august of 2022 eerily similar similar to a lot of crypto charts right i mean a lot of the markets had been correlated in the bear market once it breaks above this area which is 962 then this probably comes back to its ten dollar area right and again if Bitcoin gets added here, I would not be surprised if this just kind of ripped through its previous high and just started going crazy. Why? Because if you go over to the traditional market, micro strategy, fuck, man, one of the smartest moves ever made in corporate American history is Michael Saylor buying Bitcoin um, for micro strategy. And if you take a look at micro strategy uh, throughout the years, um, Let's go back to, okay. So in 2000, right, had that big crash to 2000 stock market. It really was a stable coin until they added Bitcoin. Then boom, right, you got some volatility in here, came back down in the bear market, and then boom, it's coming back up. So the only, like micro strategies would not have really challenged these 2000 peak highs because that was the fervor of the, you know, technology space at the time, right? And this Denver going back up to those all-time highs because that was the crazy market. But because they added Bitcoin to the basically their corporate balance sheet, right, then this has a chance at hitting new all time highs and having that volatility. So that's why I see any of these types of investment funds that start adding Bitcoin in, they start getting the volatility their customers want because inflation is so freaking high right now that, um, you know, people need and want volatility uh, essentially here. And Glassnode being its retarded self trying to reload that page. Um, but, um, yeah, so I think this is going to be actually a way for more money to come into crypto, but then also traditional market to really kind of see the power of what happens with Bitcoin. So just another way for more people to buy Bitcoin. Fantastic. Or at least buy that Bitcoin ETF, which then forces BlackRock to buy more Bitcoin anyways. If we go to their webpage, you can see all the bells and whistles of it, right? This is BlackRock uh, Advisor Center, right? Stay nimble with BlackRock multi-asset strategies. So Bitcoin is now part of their multi-asset strategy growth for their customers. So if BlackRock is on it, right, basically you sh probably should be as well, right? Um, if the smart money is buying it, buying Bitcoin, buying Ethereum, getting into crypto, you know, not a bad move probably.